Did you ever stop to think that in almost every minute of every day, paper plays a part in our lives? And heavens to Betsy, who knows how many uses of paper there really are. Papermaker will tell you that paper starts with 99% water and 1% pulp. This is something like saying that an automobile is 80% metal and 20% non-metal. But that doesn't describe the difference between this and this, the finest of its kind. What we're really saying here is that Kodak photographic paper is the finest of its kind. It has to be because it's about to take a fearful beating. It must resist severe handling in water, acids, and other chemical solutions. It must be heated and dried and still expected to last almost indefinitely. When well made, photographic paper does all these things and a great deal more. One particular kind of paper is for that snapshot in your wallet. Another for that aerial map. Still others for seismic convulsions in the crust of the Earth. Or a record of data from outer space. Or this one, photographic type for one of our most important forms of communication, the graphic arts. Now we're down to what this movie is all about. Kodak photographic paper to help you do your graphic arts jobs at lower cost, with better image quality, greater flexibility, and ease of operation. To prove this, let's look at some practical applications. There are many excellent typographers in the country who use photo-composing methods. One is Warwick of St. Louis. They're pioneers in the use of photography and photo-composition. Their catalogs list over 1,900 different styles and sizes for their photo setter library. They have seven busy photo setters. A photo setter is similar to an intertype hot metal machine, but has been modified to use lights, lens, and photography to set type optically rather than cast it line by line in metal. The photo setters incorporate mats, which are dropped into the right place by the operator at a keyboard. Each photo setter map contains a small negative of the letter desired, and this can be blown up to different sizes. The letters are automatically set up line by line for printing on photographic paper. The process is clean, sharp, and smudge-free, faster and often more economical than hot metal. Here, the exposed photographic paper, Kodak Ectomatic Photomechanical Paper, Grade T, is being processed in a Kodak Ectomatic processor. It takes only a minute or so. Quick, clean, and easy. When developed and dry, the paper receives a wax adhesive prior to being cut up and placed in the right position for final composition. After proofreading, the paste-up, so-called, will be re-photographed for plate making. This is the Phototronic System, a new kind of computerized photographic typesetter manufactured by the Harris Intertype Corporation. As copy is typed at the keyboard console, electronic brains convert it to punched tape. The tape is then fed into a high-speed photographic printout unit where glass type discs made by photography whirl at an enormous rate. These glass discs, incidentally, are really Kodak high-resolution photographic plates. 
As soon as the character is directly in front of the light source, a signal from the tape triggers an intense burst of light and projects the image through the optical system onto sensitized paper. This is the take-up end of the printing unit. Normally, this would be in darkness. The speed of the phototronic system is phenomenal, 20 characters per second. Warwick, with photographic papers and techniques, can turn out just about anything. Now let's go to Kodak Park, a large industrial complex where photographic film, chemicals, and papers are made. We'll confine our visit to the paper end. Paper making starts with a premium grade high alpha cellulose pulp. But Kodak tests every batch in this miniature paper mill, which breaks the pulp sheets down into a suspension of individual fibers, so that when the chemist puts them all together again in a hand sheet machine, the fibers will be free to intertwine. It's simple, but it's the basic principle of paper making. The water flows through a screen at the bottom, leaving intertwined fibers in the form of simple paper. and the water is forced out and the fibers compressed to make a sample sheet that will be an accurate index of the quality of the paper to be made. This batch has been accepted and will now go into production. Tons of pulp and thousands of gallons of the purest possible water all go into a big tank called the hydropulper. Just as in the laboratory, this will break the pulp into individual fibers. Huge whirling blades at the bottom of the tank will take only a few minutes to break down the sheets into the smooth, homogeneous slurry that the paper-making machinery requires. Here's one of the paper machines at the finishing end. It's well over a block long. This complex giant is directed here in master control where all the operations are under constant supervision. The machine makes rolls 150 inches wide and five miles long. When you stop to think of a sheet of paper five miles long and of unbelievable uniformity throughout, you can see that there's quite a bit to this paper making business. We could go on at length about complicated equipment, know-how built through years of experience, but take our word for it, this is as fine a photographic paper as can be produced. It has to be, because it's going to be coated with sensitive emulsions, it must be chemically pure and inert. It's going to be washed and dried at high temperatures, and after that, the finished pictures must last for generations. This paper has to be good. Samples of every roll are taken for later testing in the lab. Bursting tests. How strong is it? Stiffness tests. Some papers need to be stiff for special handling requirements. Penetration tests. How much resistance to water penetration does it have? Thickness tests and others. This paper has to be right before.
expulsion and photographic tests. All Kodak paper undergoes a thorough regimen of quality control tests every step of the way. Now to emulsion making. Here, gelatin is being mixed with distilled water to act as a carrier for light-sensitive salts. Together, they form a photographic emulsion. Under simulated safe light conditions, emulsion is being mixed in a continuous process. Emulsion making is a matter of critical precision. Precision in chemical content, precision in time, precision in temperature. The paper has passed all its tests and finally is ready to be coated. These operations are continuous, 24 hours a day. If one had to pick the most carefully controlled process in the production line, it might well be this one. No matter how fine the paper, it would be of little value without a perfect emulsion coating. The operator not only runs the machine, but is also an inspector. Here, over the Barita coated paper, emulsion is being flowed in a smooth, even, bubble-free coat. After being heated and dried, the finished sensitized paper comes off the coating machine and will soon be ready for final cutting and packing. But first, as always, comes testing. Then to the recording densitometer to plot the individual characteristics of each emulsion batch. That's a sensodometric curve. It shows speed, contrast, uniformity, and tone scale. It's used as a basic quality control record to compare individual emulsion batches with each other. The curves should plot the same, and they do. Quality control doesn't stop with just testing. The test procedures are constantly improved through continuing research. For this, many kinds of instruments and testing devices are used. This is the swellometer. True to its name, it measures the amount of swell of papers in liquids. Chromatography is a useful analytical method for separating and identifying extremely minute components of mixtures. This is another example of the effort to improve one of the world's finest products, Kodak photographic paper. Down the home stretch, where the finished photographic paper is cut into sheets and rolls. There are over 7,200 different kinds, grades, and sizes of Kodak paper for the photographic needs of business and industry. Now let's take a look at the job photographic paper is doing in a great modern newspaper plant. Time is money in any metropolitan newspaper. The Philadelphia Inquirer uses up-to-date photo typesetting methods to set and compose their advertisements. Often, the special requirements of setting up newspaper ads, speed and flexibility, can best be met with photo composition. The Inquirer uses the Linofilm system, manufactured by the Mergenthaler Linotype Company. Linofilm is a series of integrated units which not only sets type photographically, but provides for corrections, alterations, and makeup into page forms. From the keyboard, all of the typographic functions of the system are controlled. Display sizes of type can be set at the same time as text matter. The total output of the keyboard is recorded on tape, which feeds the photographic unit. This revolving turret houses 18 grid fonts, alphabets, and symbols. The turret contains the equivalent of more than 72 magazines of hot metal matrices. The 
the output is right reading positive type on either photographic film or paper. Kodak photo typesetting paper can be used as a reproduction proof to make the printing plate. Now let's look at a photon photo typesetting machine in a New York composing room. From a standard keyboard, type sizes and font changes are made and copy is set directly onto film or positive photographic paper. Quadding, leading, and justifying are completely automatic. A matrix contains 16 complete 90 character alphabets in negative form. Combined with 12 lenses to change type sizes, a minimum of 192 fonts are available from a single matrix. In another composing room, we find the typesetter, manufactured by American type founders. Essentially, it is a tape-controlled photo typesetting system for low-cost composition, an answer to the wide range requirements of commercial job printing. A keyboard punches the coded tape. Simultaneously, a hard copy compositor's proof is typed to enable the operator to catch most errors and correct them before photo setting. The magazine of exposed photographic paper is removed for development. Sharp, smear-proof type images are produced on development, suitable for any modern printing process. In Rochester, New York, the Lawyers Cooperative Publishing Company specializes in the printing and publishing of law books. Over long years of printing, they have accumulated literally millions of pounds of stereo lead printing plates for books scheduled to be reprinted at some future date. This great number of plates presents not only a vast storage problem, but also represents a gigantic inventory of expensive type metal. Thanks to photography and lithographic printing, stereo lead plates no longer need to be used and no longer need to be stored. After a positive repro proof of the stereo plates has been made, the next step is to make paper negatives. In this vacuum frame are two strands of Codolith ortho paper 13 inches wide. The 16 pages on the repro proof are laid face down on the photographic paper emulsion and exposure is made through the back. The exposed paper negatives are then processed in a Kodak continuous paper processor. This kind of detail and sharpness is only possible with top quality paper. After the drying drum, the pages are stripped on flats in position for making the offset printing plate. The sensitized offset plate is exposed to the flat. It is then developed with black ink. The areas that were exposed become ink receptive and the rest washes away under water. After further cleaning, the plate is ready for the press. A regular lithographic press does the actual printing. The result? 
law books of excellent quality, printed through the use of photographic paper and photographic techniques. The use of photography in the graphic arts has been evolutionary and revolutionary. In the past few years, growth has been extremely rapid as new methods and machines have been developed. Is this good news for you? It should be, because with the various systems have come lower cost, better image quality, greater flexibility, and ease of operation. Study your own operation, and don't be surprised if you find that photo typesetting, photo composing, and other applications of photographic techniques will give you an advantage in production cost, speed, and higher quality. Kodak is proud of its role in the manufacture of photographic paper for these photo typesetting techniques, and of equal importance, the research for and development of new products that may be used for those photo typesetting machines now on the draw.